This is Taiwan International Airport. I arrived here yesterday at 1844. After my arrival, I went out to the city, Taipei, and stayed the night in the Four Point Sheraton Hotel. After I got to the hotel, I didn't do anything. I just stayed in the hotel because I was tired. And I planned on doing something in the morning before coming to the airport, but I didn't. As you can see by the time in the lower right corner of the screen, I got up and I came to the airport. My next flight on China Airlines 6 to Los Angeles is scheduled to depart at 1700. So I have about eight hours to pass here. And I'm gonna go to the China Airlines lounge. And here you see Taiwan's version of the infamous TSA. The TSA isn't really that bad. They have a job to do and they do it. But people don't like it when they make them give up their toothpaste and little bottles and stuff like that. But those are the rules and you have to abide by them whether you like them or not. And they're the same here. So even though this is not called TSA and it doesn't look like TSA, that is, regarding the employees in their uniforms, it's basically the same. Are they effective at stopping terrorists? I couldn't tell you. There are stories of people sneaking things on an airplane that they shouldn't be taking on an airplane, even guns. And some people like to say that TSA has never caught a terrorist. But if it's true that TSA has never caught a terrorist, then it could be because far fewer terrorists have tried getting through TSA. As you can see, here is the same as TSA in the United States. Take off your coat, take off your belt, take your computer out of your bag, put it through the screener, and then you got to go through the metal detector yourself. And if you Civil? get detected, then you get patted down. I think one difference here is I didn't have to remove my shoes. Excuse me. In the USA, TSA randomly selects bags for additional inspection, where you have to take your stuff out of your bag and let TSA look at it. I don't know if it happens here, but that's what could be happening to the guy next to me. After my belongings come through the machine, I like to grab everything and get out of the way so I don't cause an inconvenience for other people. Then I move over to a bench like this one and then gather my stuff and pack it all up, put on my belt or whatever. Now I'm all packed up and ready to find the China Airlines lounge. Unfortunately, TSA wasn't the last of it. Now I'll have to stand in line for immigration and passport control. This is why I like to arrive at the airport about three hours before my flight is scheduled to depart because some of these lines can be pretty long. And if they're not long, and if I get through them quickly, then I can spend the remainder of the time in the lounge and drink free liquor. I always give myself plenty of time, and I've never missed a flight due to standing in line or these kind of delays. I only missed a flight once, and that was due to a time zone error. I was sitting in the Delta Sky Club in Atlanta, and I looked at my phone, and I thought, okay, it's time to go to the gate. But what I didn't realize was my phone did not automatically update the time zone. So by the time I got to the gate, they said the plane had left. Fortunately, they put me on another flight. Oh, there was one other time I missed a flight. 
I was flying to Astana, Kazakhstan. But I bought two separate tickets on two different airlines because it was cheaper than if I would have bought a single ticket. So I got on Air France to go to Istanbul, Turkey. And then from Istanbul, I was to get on Astana Air. Well, the Air France flight was late and I missed the flight on Air Astana. In that instance, I had to buy another ticket to Astana. All right, security checkpoint is complete. Passport and immigration is complete. Next stop is the China Airlines Lounge, where I'll be sitting for several hours waiting for my flight. Now, I just have to find the airline lounge. Maybe it's down this way.